everyone. Hello, hello. Let's see. Let's adjust that. I always end up having to readjust this because this is the webcam that I use for meetings too. So I'm always like moving back and forth. I really should figure out like a dual set system and somehow. Anyway, okay. So live chat. Be on live chat. <laughs> okay. So let's check out. We have Kenny. Hello, Kenny. And we have Sydney and Evelyn. Evelyn. You guys, Evelyn did it again. I have something to show you here in a minute. And Steve says, Faitoba. Steve, hi, Steve. Hi, Fern. Hi, Alex. Hello, Rindy. You got the ring wrong month going on there. I know, right? Uh, Ashley, hello, Ashley. Hello, Rhea, Belinda. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Make sure I'm not miss anyone. Kelly, hello, Kelly. Hello, Dee. Leslie, hello Leslie and Mona. No vomiting this time, Mona. We're all good. <laughs> Let's see who else. Who else? Oh, oh, oh! It hopped down. It hopped down. It always does that when I get a little bit closer to the end. It'll hop right down. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Alex, hello Alex. Sarah, Loretta, Debbie, hello, hello, hello. Uh, let's see, SB and Patricia and Annette. Hello, everyone. Okay, I think I got through everyone and anyone else that happens to be coming in. Man, what a weekend we had. Seriously, I wasn't able to be there for the last of them yesterday, but I did watch them back and oh my goodness, at least I popped in some of them. But um, yes, what a crazy weekend. <laughs> no, Mona, it's fine. I was laughing pretty hard. Welcome back, Ev. Um, but yes, so Shelly and Belinda, thank you so much for organizing the weekend. Obviously, we're all still working on our pages. Hi, Carol. It is going well, Sydney. How about you? Um, but yeah, so I have a couple new items because our lovely, lovely Ev, as wonderful as she is, um, she sent me a little surprise day. Steve went and picked it up. Um, so I'm, Kenny was lovely enough to send me a brush to sweep away my, um, pencil dust. But at some point I was doing a craft or something and it got misplaced and I haven't been able to find it for a couple weeks now. Uh, I could say I was thinking about Steve doing his cat nose or cat noise. Did the Amazon fairy leave you something good? Ooh, Ev did Amazon arrive. Dude, our Amazon took forever today. Like our mail didn't show up until like 8 p.m. tonight. Sarah, hello. Um, so anyway, uh, Steve went to my P.O. box. You can kind of see it a little bit in the corner here. But because I misplaced mine, Ev sent me two, not one, but two backups. And look at how adorable this is. It's a rose. It's a little, oh. <laughs> it's a little rose. Isn't that so cute? And then this one, we got rainbow colors. Ev, I'll tell you, the kids saw them and they were just like, oh. So now, now we can sweep away our color in style. Style, and they're so soft. This one has so many bristles, like it's so soft. You have both of them? Oh, awesome. Hi, Mandy. Right, Ashley? Kenny, I'm sure that I will find yours. We're gonna be packing up to move here in a few months and I will probably find it when we're packing everything away. But yes, so there is that. Hi, Steve, Steve's Hello. bringing me tea. Did Mona want me to do the cat noise? No, Mona did not want you to do the cat noise. Earlier today, I was in one of her chats and she meant to say hi to me with a little heart afterwards, but she accidentally pu pressed the pukey emote and didn't realize it till later. And she was like, oh no, Steve, don't do it. He's making the face, guys. Right, Rindy's so cute. Where do you find him? Actually, I made a command for him just in case. Exclamation point flower. Oh, I just felt so bad, Kenny. You sent it and I'm like, I can't find it. I was very distraught. In punishment, I dealt with no brush for a few weeks. So if that helps. But the other thing that she sent along with it, and this is something that I had, um, Oh, fun, Evelyn, that I had on my wish list that I was really curious about. And so Ev added these to the brushes. They are Posca brush pens. Does anybody have these? Has anybody used them? I played with them a little bit today and they're actually interesting. They've got a pump button on the back. And I think that these would be absolutely, aw, thanks, Sydney. I think that especially the white one, the brush is gonna be really handy when you're doing, when you want like a light glow around like a glass. So I'm gonna move this to the side here. Let's see, where is my, I had a black piece of paper out earlier that I was testing it on. Oh, well, we'll just grab this one here so you can see it. Hang on one second, let me grab a piece of paper here real quick. Okay. All right. So let's zoom in a tad. 
brighten that up. Yeah, they're really interesting. I was just like, you know, I've got a few different ranges of Posca pens. So like there's this one, this one. Oh, I don't think I have a mid mid-size one here um, at hand, but there is a mid-size one. These are two small ones. This is a really large one. Yeah, Posca brush pens. And here I put exclamation point uh, Posca brush, I think. Belinda is my enabler. I know, right? There's so many good things. So this is how it looks. So we've got obviously, you know, it says Uniposca white. This is the code that's on the back of it here. And then it's got, it's interesting. The lid has like a spring in it. Maybe that keeps it from getting bush. Now I've already primed this, but I'll show you. On the back, it's got this cap that you take off. And this has got the, I'm not gonna push it too much, but imagine a click pen and you push this down. Like I said, I'm not gonna do it because it'll push a bunch out in my hand. Um, but you push this down a few times when you wanna prime it or if your brush is getting dry or for whatever reason. But they're plastic. I don't think they're, I don't think they're acrylic. They feel more, they feel, they felt more plastic. But check that out. It dries pretty quickly, but you see like if you press, you can get like more of a separation. So imagine you can also do it like lighter hand. So imagine you're like you're coloring a jar or something and you want a really kind of light next to it, but you don't want that hard line that Posca would normally give. You can just lightly and you get something a little bit softer, but yeah. Sydney, uh, type exclamation point Facebook and the link for the Facebook group will pop up. So yeah, I mean, with the amount of pressure, you know, that's that's pretty light. You can also go heavier, but you get this more kind of textured brush than you do. So if this was getting a little bit dry, then I would just take this and push down once, and then you get more in the tip. So yeah, I am super excited to try this. And like I said, the, the top is like a, I know you can't see it, but you can feel it kind of spring loose. And then, yeah, they're way cool. I know we probably won't be able to see it much on here, but same thing, it's got the spring cap with the little push on the back. Sounds good, Shannon. And it works just the same as the white one. Now this one's already been primed also, but it would be the same thing where you would push on the back, you know, take off the, the white cap. But yeah, it gives you a different kind of amount of paint that comes out, a little bit different style of control. Um, I don't know if they do, yeah, here, look. You can see kind of the spring. All right, pops back on. Would it get rid of a dark line in coloring with the white Posca? Um, let me grab, let me grab a work in progress flub here and we shall see. I've got folders of, let's see, that's worksheets. This orange one, is the orange one work in progress? Yeah, it is. Okay, orange one is work in progress. Let me grab one. Okay, here. Now, these are just from my printer. This isn't from a coloring book. Um, I was experimenting with her hair and it didn't work out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try this page again at some point, but um, here, let's go here. And that's the thing too, is it's giving you a chance to not press as hard. So it's covering it up some, but then what you could do, because you know how sometimes if you put like white over it, it kind of scrapes away. Spring makes it airtight so it doesn't dry out. So same idea as liquid eyeliner pens. Oh, I didn't know that. I like that. That's cool. Hi, Groon. Okay, so now this is dry. Let's put another layer over the top. So yeah, I think it works covering wise about the same as the other one, but oh, thanks, Sydney, uh, about the same as the other one. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm intrigued. It's definitely not going to be as like fine point as something like this, but I think this is going to have a lot of, I think probably the white 
We'll have, hi Jill, we'll have um, more applications than the black, mostly because I use white more often than black anyway, but imagine if you're coloring and you're filling in, you know, like a large space. I know, right? Well, these ones, I think I did, I was playing with my Copics and I think I stopped coloring it because at the time, this was before I had ordered some new colors um, and this was not the color I wanted on her hair and it was already soaking through so much. So I was just like, eh, we're gonna put this to the side. I have a few, like I just have this folder full of work in progress. This is that Millie Murata that I started doing. This one, this was something I was playing with that I started. That was another thing. I have a lot of things. Oh, not that one. That one's in the wrong folder. This one's finished. This one's mine, I asked me. So I have a lot of things that I have started and not finished that at some point, maybe I'll go back to, I don't know, but for now. So anyway, all that to say, Ev, thank you. You spoil me. You're amazing. You always, you're like, you sent me a message and I'm just like, ee! <laughs> but seriously, how adorable is this? It's a little rose. I feel very, um, uh, what is it? Beauty and the Beast. Welcome back, Rhea. You know, like, I feel like I should keep it in a glass case, you know, that, uh, that just sits up in display. I need to do that. I need to get it its own glass case. A few gel pens and a Posca white pen for covering lines in my Thomas Kincaid books. They work very well. Yes, yes. Only about to finish my first pick and I need a spoil fairy. What's a spoil fairy? It's called Happy Mail for a reason. It, right, Ashley? It makes me very happy. Ev, you, you are amazing. Seriously, thank you. Okay. All right, let's put these to the side. And what do you say we get cracking? Hi, Cheryl on our fairy. Now I was looking back at the fairy and I realized that I made a mistake in her skin tone. I gave her no cheek color. I think I was having way too much fun uh, and I totally spaced it. So we are going to fix that before we continue because it has been bothering me, but I've been trying to keep this one uh, for us while we're doing it. Right, Ashley, exactly. I was reading Chad, not paying attention to my focusing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna shift the T over and let's see. Our darkest color was chestnut. This is Bordeaux. I don't want Bordeaux. Let's see, this is chestnut. So yeah, I wanna add, I wanna give her a little cheek colors. Right now she has no cheekbones, none whatsoever. Not a ton, but I wanna give her a little bit of definition, you know? I just totally spaced it last time. Don't worry, just trust the process. I know it looks a little funky now, but I'll fix it. We now, we have now hooked Sarah on coloring streams. Yay, Evelyn, I'm so glad. Is she with the kiddos tonight or is she gonna be here tonight? I don't know why I'm yelling. I feel like I'm yelling. Uh, okay, let's grab brown ochre. It doesn't look as blended because I'm going on top of all that wax pencil I had already put on there. So we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. All right, granite rose. Oh, well, I, I don't need to use my hand anymore. I can use my brush. <laughs> uh, okay, then let's wipe that off. Let's do white. Move that out. See, it didn't need to be anything significant. I just realized she was lacking in some extra definition on her face. She's here and I think the girls are watching too. Oh, awesome. Oh, you turned the volume down. <laughs> and her boyfriend, since he also colors, which I did not know. Oh, hello, Sarah's boyfriend. That's awesome. Okay, so let's do, we added that. I'm trying to decide we ended with the leaves. I kind of don't want to spend the rest of the evening doing leaves. Um, let's do her wings. Yeah, do we want to do some wings? So my plan is it's going to be, where to get the cool brush? Annette, this was from our lovely Ev, but if you want to get it for yourself, it is exclamation point flower. And that's this one here. I guess I didn't put one in for this one, but this one I think is sold by the same company, if I remember correctly, but yeah. This one is there and it's so cool. Seriously, I'm telling you, I feel like a uh, bell from Beauty and the Beast. Blush brush, gotcha. 
but yeah. It's so fancy, Ev. I feel so fancy. I feel like I could get myself like a ring light and start doing like makeup tutorials too. It's just, I just don't like want to play with it. It's so soft. <laughs> My kids saw it and they're like, ooh. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking we're going to have kind of a purplish red mushroom. I'm thinking, I'm thinking kind of red and or like burgundy and pink. No, not burgundy, like a. Oh, awesome, Ev. All right, let's start with some blue, shall we? So let's grab turquoise blue turquoise blue and let's grab sapphire blue and let's grab purple violet purple violet and pink and light lemon yellow let's just let's just go to town on this huh all right let's get this let's see we're gonna start with the purple Right, Ev? I know, I, I had some streakiness on her arm already because I was wiping it wrong. Sounds good, Angie. <laughs> Sarah. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Evelyn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, nice, Debra. It's one of them. Ooh, Sarah, surprises are fun. You know what? I think we might use the... um the white Posca brush tonight on her wings. Also, I wanna, I have some masking fluid. I had an idea for a background, but I gotta see if the masking fluid is gonna work on this paper first, cause I don't want it to like tear it up, but I have kind of an interesting idea. So you guys have to bear with me when we get to that point. Okay, so purple violet is what we're gonna start with. And don't forget um, the, uh, the pages from February are they all should be on sale all month so if you've seen some that you are still interested in getting they should all still be on sale for a while this seems really bright too dark too bright i don't know i like to try and make it fairly accurate but i don't want it super dark either it's so hard to get it exactly accurate to what you guys you know what i see versus what you guys see I mean, everybody sees color differently, too. Oh, nice, Evelyn. Okay, well, here's my idea. I just had this, this, not vision, but this idea in my head that I could take masking fluid and paint circles on with the masking fluid, larger circles. So like rings around the back of her, like here, 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 like kind of overlapping. And then do kind of not fill the whole thing with watercolor, but doing kind of like a like a watercolor cloud behind her. I don't know what color. And then you peel up the masking or you'd yeah, peel up the masking fluid and then you'd have these clear white circles. But um I just don't know how it'll work with this paper if it'll be, you know, too absorbent and it'll rip the paper afterwards. But I did make it through a whole weekend without buying any more color pencils. I got pan pastels, but not pencils. I like it, Ev. I like it. Ooh. <laughs> Crisscross here. Okay. So we are using purple violet still. Let's see, we'll work on just the one wing for now. The one wing. Not the one ring, but the one wait. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Ashley. Ashley. Wait, wait. Exclamation point. Hi. Five. F. Ha ha! <laughs> Let's see if Nightbot will work for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, nope. He high-fived me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Sydney. I just don't know how to work with this paper. Or buy more Holbeins. I haven't, uh, I haven't ordered any, but like, I think I've said it before, Holbeins are one of the few pencils that I actually don't, uh, have any strong desire to get. Oddly enough. I know they're like the talk of the town right now, but yeah, I'm gonna get a sip of tea here real quick. 
sure it's not too hot. Well, we got off that long weekend. How was everybody's Monday? Who watched the Super Bowl? Who was disappointed with the Super Bowl? Who enjoyed it? This still feels too dark. I think I'm gonna lighten that back up. 2020 February, I got like eight sets and then totally forgot about them, Ev. <laughs> oh, you cracked me up. What's crazy to me is to think that all of this pandemic stuff went down like a year ago. Like we're a year into this. It's insane. I want oh Super Bowl was a Z fest. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. Even Steve watched it. And honestly, he let me play Zelda on the big TV and he watched the Super Bowl on his phone. I think maybe if it had been a better game, he probably would have asked for the TV. <laughs> oh, the aquarelles, yes. A Super Bowl should be should not be a shutout. That is true. Oh, last big ones. Yes. Monday after Super Bowl is the biggest call off sick day. Fun fact. I believe it. I believe it. Although, well, no, because I guess they don't usually, um, I was going to say New Year's Eve versus New Year's Day. Uh, they probably um, wouldn't have that because people usually have it off. Wait, what? What did I miss? I clearly should have been. What? What did I miss? Why were there no pants on Evelyn's stream? <laughs> Ashley, I don't sports ball. The next great quarterback was unable to score a touchdown, a fail as a game too bad type. Ah, I got you, Groon. Ev, what happened to your pants on Belinda's stream? Belinda, why were there no pants on your stream? Choir minds want to know, why were there no pants? Hi, Boots. Uh, I'm using Sapphire Blue right now, by the way. Wait, there was a streaker during the game? What? Why? How is this the first I've heard of it? Come on, that's gotta be the biggest news. Yeah, yeah, I meant I meant on I meant on Belinda's. Why w w Belinda had a pantsless fairy? Oh my gosh. Here I'll poo on mine and no pants on Belinda's. What what has February turned into? <laughs> Okay, I feel like there's a story here. What what am I missing? Just order a 12 set of Faber Castell metallic colored eco pencils and three pack of Uniball Signo in a roller pen. Hope I like these products. That should be fun, Rindy. I mean, not totally, but we did see buns. Wait, what? No, my fairy had colored his pants. <laughs> I I clearly have missed some important plot points here. No pants on Belinda's stream, a streaker at the Super Bowl. I mean, next question, did they catch the streaker? I feel like I need to go to Google right now and find out what happened. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of blue here. Mrs. Super Bowl, but I usually don't watch only Yeah, yeah, I usually watch for the commercials. Oh nice, boots. Oh, you missed his pants when coloring. Okay. Wait, I need to come out of the closet. What? <laughs> Tackled in the end zone. That's hilarious, Shannon. That's hilarious. What closet, Mona? I'm a murdered woman. Okay, we're still using Sapphire Blue. I keep missing stuff. Oh, 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 I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Mm 
Okay, still using the sapphire blue. Let's see. Do a tiny bit here. I'm trying to kind of do a bit of a blend, sort of like I did the hair. For the Super Bowl? I don't think we made anything special for the Super Bowl. We ordered Chinese. Does that count? We're getting more snow for tomorrow. Ugh, enough layer had to clean the car off this morning for yesterday's snow. We caught the snow like once. As fairy would turn out with polychromos as I don't. Oh, I'm sure it would turn out gorgeous, Leslie. I massive food on a post-it, waiting for it to dry to see how it works, because I figure if it works on a post-it, it'll work on cardstock. Actually, that's, yeah, probably a pretty good theory. My only hesitation with a post-it is that cardstock has multiple layers of paper, but I'm curious. Yes, let me know how it works on a post-it. Yeah, honestly, with any pencils, Leslie, this is just, these are just the colors that I chose. I mean, you could use Crayolas and it would probably be just fine. Using sapphire blue. Last minute person. I don't get up early enough to have time to clean off the car. <laughs> Hi, kitty. What you doing? I literally gave you a snack right before. Are, are you about to jump on my desk? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I got a cup of tea here, kitty. I'm gonna I'm move my tea over here. I don't... I don't need you jumping over here. We're gonna put this right here. Sorry guys, she she did the low like she was about to leap and it made me nervous. <laughs> I literally had my tea right here and she would just run right into it. I'm not sure what her plan is. I specifically gave her a snack right before stream. Funny thing is though, is we got them some, uh, some catnip because I got this new um, hideaway spot for Paul because he gets scared of storms and uh, we put a little catnip on it and so little while ago the cats were all going nuts she's after the brushes i know right probably no if she jumps up here it's because she wants attention and she wants me to get her food that's exactly what it is i want to thank you emily and only you kept me staying in 2020 i finally working more than one day a week so hoping to keep the oh i'm so glad groon i figure if it doesn't soak through a post it should work yeah exactly yeah exactly what shannon said polys are great in fact, Polly's were my other choice for this, um, but yeah, I just opted for the Pablos. She's looking at my desk, guys. If we suddenly just have just this massive, like, big fur ball that comes in the camera, it's because she got up enough um, courage to literally leap from the bed onto my desk. <laughs> Sometimes I do wish that I did markers more. I mean, I have them, but that I did them more because it would go a lot faster with markers. But what are you going to do? <laughs> right, Ashley? She doesn't usually, but she had that catnip like an hour ago. And so she's probably feeling a little ornery. Like she was actually playing with the other cats until she got annoyed with Annie and smacked her. Um... <laughs> But she doesn't usually play. She's kind of a, I'm going to eat, I'm going to go to the bathroom, and I'm going to sleep on the bed. But she's like 15 years old. She's an old kitty. She's an old kitty. So if anything, she's probably earned the right to be a little bit cranky. All right, she's off the bed. And now she's rubbing on my leg and making me spin. Kitty. I gave you a snack right before I started streaming. Can you get out of those cords, please? Thank you. It's like she hears me talking and the trigger goes off like, oh, I could get some food. Let's see, I'm in bed right now and Nancy decided to lick my hair, so. <laughs> That's hilarious, Catrick is cute. I dug out my gold favorites and forgot how much I love them. I haven't used them too much. 
I spent my lunch looking at kittens. <gasps> Evelyn, are you going to get a kitty? Oh, awesome, Sydney. Evelyn, are you getting a kitty? You know, Rhea, you'd think it would be, but I'm just like, I just fed you. Come on, cat. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and let's use a little bit of purple violet. I want just a tiny bit here, not much. Like the second part is going to be more heavily blue. I feel like this is too bright. All right, I'm turning that down. I'm going to make an adjustment here real quick. Kitty, stop rubbing on my legs. Hang on. I want to see if I can adjust this real quick. I am not happy with the color that my camera is giving you. Hold up. Hold up. Let's see. Better color tone, I think is fine. All right, let's try and yeah, that's better. I think my contrast was too high. Okay, I'm happier with that. Sorry, I know that was a slight detour, but it bothers me if it's not quite right. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Look how pitiful she is. I know, right? Okay. All right, kitty. Okay. You can thank Shannon for your, like, third dinner here. For your third dinner. Right? And then will you take a nap so I can finish what I'm doing? Huh? There. Now eat your snack and go take a nap. <laughs> I love kitties. I <laughs> already have two, but Galahad is nine. Sneakers and eight, they're both slowing down in the play factor. You know, that's one of the reasons that we got Annie is because Paul is younger and Isis doesn't play. And, you know, he needed a playmate. Yep, kitty snack time. <laughs> Shannon, you're welcome, kitty pie. It's number the third thing I was going to get for Sarah. I forgot a color wheel. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. I have you on mute while I'm... Teaching. Oh, did I? I started working on some of the commands. I haven't finished them all because I got interrupted, but let's see. Did I do this one? I feel like I did Tammy's. Did I do Tammy's? Maybe? Ah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I still have to add the rest of them, but um, yeah, I know I did that one. Okay, here we go. Back to it. Back to it. Can you guys see this okay, or is it too, like, too bright, too, uh... She washed out. I don't know. Um, okay. We were using ch -ch 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 purple violet. That's why it like might look different after I photograph it and post it because I can get a more realistic image of what it looks like. Oh, Sarah already has a color wheel. Perfect. <laughs> oh no you're not ant but okay hold up hold up i forgot i forgot that's right that's right she wants we, we're gonna make her ant butt hang on hang on because i'm gonna forget if i don't do it now all right tammy 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 here we go okay hold it hold it exclamation point ant butt all right all right now you can type in exclamation point ant butt oh thanks Rhea. hi wendy Oh, Wendy, no worries. We have a command for that. Exclamation point. Late. Wait for it. It looks good. Not washed out. Okay, thanks, Della. The other cats could hear the food container. Oh, no. <laughs> there. See, you're never late. You arrive precisely when you mean to. There you go. All right, Tammy, go ahead and type in ant butt or somebody type in ant butt for Tammy. It's there. It's there. She's ant butt now. See, Sarah claims she's not an artist, but I've seen some of the stuff she's done. She's a true artist. Has she shared her stuff? Yeah, exclamation point ant butt. There we go. There it is. <laughs> there you go, Tammy. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and use a pink. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Wait, what did Rhea say? 
I struggle sometimes taking a good picture without natural light. See, after the after picture, um, uh, the after picture I can usually get just fine, but it's the during the stream. Like I try to have it as most accurate as I can for you guys, but it's so hard, you know? <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, probably uh, not for now, Sydney. I have got, I have got more than enough mods as it is. I rarely have things for my mods to do. So, but, uh, but yes, I have my lovely, lovely mods. Got some hypes and chat for the mods. Yeah, it's a uh, set up night for Nightbot where you do commands and you can make any kind of commands. Oh, I'm sure you do, Sarah. And if you want to start out small, Sarah, you can post in Discord. There's not nearly as many people in Discord as there is, as there is in like the big the bigger Facebook group. So if you want to go small, start in Discord. <laughs> My students are wondering why I'm laughing. <laughs> See, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Hype, hype for mods. <laughs> no, she did. She asked for ant butt last time. It's hilarious. All right, so P. Annie's outside the door meowing. She knows I gave the other kitty a snack. Yeah, hype mods. <laughs> yep, Tammy is forever ant butt now. <laughs> All right, just a little bit of pink. Like I said, these ones are going to be a bit more heavily blue than they are pink. Trying to find that balance. Yeah, because there's a channel just for like colorings and crafts. It's not all, uh, you know, poo gifts. <laughs> We're just going real light here, but we will darken it up. Don't worry. If anything, today's stream could be how to color uh, fairy wings. <laughs> okay, you, you, you got too much food. You got dinner. You got post dinner snack. You got snack after snack. You got so many snacks. You meowing at me? She's got like an old lady meow. Ashley. All right, so now we're going to use turquoise blue. See, it's because I gave her all that catnip. Now she's got the kitty munchies. Catnip munchies, exactly, Grim. That's exactly what it is. She got catnip munchies. Well, I got the catnip because I wanted the um, I wanted them to, you know, take kindly to this little hideaway cube because Paul has a tendency to like dart under the beds and break into doors and everything just because he like tries to hide during storms. And so I wanted to give him his own little safe space, you know. <laughs> Tammy. Okay. Like I said, we're going to darken this up. It's really light now, but we will be darkening it up. We're just using that turquoise blue at the moment. Okay. Hi, Tanya. Oh, Tanya, I fixed yours too. Uh, type in exclamation point Tanya. Like I said, I started to get to the list and I got interrupted, but I do know that I got a few of them, uh, a few of them done. But yeah, type in exclamation point Tanya. Tanya's was one of the ones I got done today. Okay, now we're gonna use cream. That's right, you got them the PS5. Those are hard to find now. I think I can put my tea back there. There you go, there's Tanya's. Yeah, what I started a list of ones that I got done. Anyway, the rest of them we all mentioned. I'm planning on doing the rest. I just ran out of time today. Um, okay, so now 
Yeah, because Rhea, you're going to get one. I don't think I've gotten to yours yet. And I have one for Rindy planned and everything. And have you tried pearl iridescent medium to make things look sparkly? I do. I have tried some pearlescent uh, iridescent medium. Um, I mostly use that in my fluid art paintings, but no. And a lot of times it's because it that kind of stuff doesn't translate very well in real life. Okay, so we're using lemon, no, light lemon yellow. So it ends up being, especially because most of my stuff is only seen through online. It's not like I show people in person. So I like to try and use mediums that can be translated across camera, you know? All right, we are definitely gonna do another layer here. Okay, so now let's grab our purple violet. Yeah, but in the fluid art paintings, it was nice. Hi, Angela. Generally, if I want to add like a little bit of a shine or some sort of shimmer, I'll use um, my uh, clear white Posca pen and I, or not Posca, um, Wink of Stella. I've had this one for ages. I have only once had a Wink of Stella explode on me, but I was able to salvage the page. I panicked though. I panicked just a little bit. Mod Podge glitter today. I've used regular Mod Podge. Thanks, Angie. Yeah, I've used regular Mod Podge. Um, but I don't know. Mod Podge, I feel like never dries the way I want it to. I swear it just always feels tacky. Like I can feel it on top. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Mod Podge. And it's so expensive. Results, masking fluid worked well on a post-it, only crinkled the page slightly. Amazing since it's one very thin layer of paper. Interesting. What are the clear tips on the Posca pens for? Um, oh, for these? This, it's a button that you push to prime it. Think like a clicky pen and it pushes the paint down to the brush tip, which looks like this. We're actually gonna use this on these wings um, when, we, when it gets time. You've never used Mod Podge? I use it more on crafts like, um, uh, the kids have a playhouse that I built them and they did their handprints in there and I put a layer of Mod Podge over that to help protect it. Um, also, like we've decorated rocks before and I've put a layer of Mod Podge on that, but that kind of backfired and we had them outside and it got so warm. Um, they were on each other and they started sticking to one another. So Mod Podge can't be kept where it's super warm, that's for sure. Um, like in, in comparison to like a container of it, I just remember going to Hobby Lobby and thinking, wow, that's a lot of money for a container of Mod Podge. So I guess expensive is relative. It's more of a, was it a craft supplies item I was willing to spend the money on? You know, like when I'm at Hobby Lobby and I'm just like, wow, that container of Mod Podge is eight bucks. Um, probably not, you know, like, especially if it's just like a craft where like we're painting rocks or whatever else, you know? definitely something I'm using a coupon for. I buy, I still have not tried all YouTubers are my enablers. It's, it's, it's good. Oh, the brush tip Posca. Uh, wait, what did Tanya say about it? Uh, oh, you got a brush tip Posca. I got you. Oh, it can be used as glue. Interesting. Walmart has $5 for a large one. Well, dang, man. Forget Hobby Lobby. Actually, I haven't been. I have been to Hobby Lobby twice since the pandemic went down. I've been to Target once. That was super stressful. There were so many people in there. I mean, it was the weekend too, but I'm just in there thinking, why are all you people out? There's too many people at Target. I panicked a little. <laughs> all right. Um, Sapphire Blue Kitty, you got to get out of there, honey. Steve, if you're watching, can you come get her? He might be playing this game. All right, Sapphire Blue. Right, Evelyn? Had somebody tell me once that if you can't find it on Amazon, you probably don't need it. <laughs> Thank you. I gave her a second snack too, and she's still. You head to bed? All right. Love you. Okay, that's okay. Good night. Good night.
You're not feeding her again, are you? I'm not feeding the other one. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that'll be nice, Deborah. Good night, Sydney. Have a great night. Yeah, see, you don't go, yeah, you don't go too many places. <laughs> I know it's 9.14, I didn't realize it was so late. She must have been having fun with whatever she was doing. Popular is going to do away with their 40% off coupon at the end of the month? What? Are they doing a different one, Cheryl? Or are they just getting rid of it? That's gonna hurt their business just because, I mean, in competition with Michael's? What? Oh, man. Huh. What else do you know about that, Cheryl? Did they give a reasoning? Have they, like, been losing money since the pandemic? I mean, I'm sure they probably have, but... Dang. That's a big... Oh, they'll lose a lot. Maybe they'll be able to bring their regular prices down, though. That would be nice, Angie. That would be really nice. I feel like a lot of their stuff, like, I specifically use that coupon, like, strategically. You know what I mean? But the fact of the matter is, here where I live, the two craft stores, the two main craft stores are Michael's and Hobby Lobby. And Michael's takes competitors' coupons, but I generally default to Hobby Lobby. But if they're getting rid of that coupon, oof. Yeah, because some of their higher price things, like I would never buy Prismacolors at Hobby Lobby. It is way too expensive. Dang. Yeah, that's gonna, I mean, I guess if they have no choice, if they're losing money, but I feel like that's gonna be... I don't know. My instinct is that is not a smart business move. Oh, really, Angie? Interesting. JCPenney when they got rid of... Is there even JCPenney's anymore? Are there a few select ones? Or did JCPenney go bankrupt, though? Oh, a diamond painting of Marilyn Monroe? That's nice. I haven't worked anymore on my diamond painting since I showed you all last time. I need to, but I haven't yet. You have a JCPenney? Okay. I know that some of them closed. Well, if you're talking about their, um, I guess, let's say politics, I suppose. Their, no, politics isn't the right word. Their, um... Mm, what is the word has to do with their um, like guidelines for employees and insurance and what they're allowed to get and what they're not allowed to get because Hobby Lobby is a religious based organization. They have um, a lot of do's and don'ts that they do as far as their employees are concerned. Is that why Angela? During holiday in the US, I spent a fortune Hobby Lobby Michaels. You're so lucky the amount of craft supplies under one big roof, right? JCPenney didn't go bankrupt because I have their MasterCard and still can charge. Mine and the mall is closed. Oh, okay. They went bankrupt and closed. Yeah, policies. Thank you, Kenny. That was the word I was looking for. Yeah, they actually finally. Sorry, the students asked me an actual awesome theoretical question. If you were on a ship traveling at the speed of light and you were walking, would you be faster than the speed of light? Huh. Okay, next question then. Because I'm imagining if a, ch if a ship is... Are we talking like a spaceship or like a boat ship? Like a ship ship on the water? Because that's going to that's gonna make a difference. You can still order online in JCPenney. Now that's good. 85 Dang, oh, I haven't bought Prismacolors in ages. You get emails from them every day. I heard Hobby Lobby was going to have more sales. I think also prices might be lowered. I sure hope so. My brain now hurts. <laughs> Can Nightbot answer that question? I don't think Nightbot can. 
and theoretically depends on which way you were walking. I suppose, yeah, because I'm thinking if they're on a ship, on a on water, and for some reason that ship is going at speed of light, and you're walking on the boat, that boat's gonna go, and you're gonna be like here, unless you're under deck. But if that case, then you're gonna be like up against the wall because of the speed at which it's going. I don't know why I thought boat. I should probably think spaceship. I mean, you know, <laughs> Pier One, yeah. I worked at Jimboree for a while until they closed. Well, no, I stopped working there before they closed their stores, but Jimboree closed a lot of their stores. All right, so turquoise blue. But they consolidated a lot of it. Okay, see, they're coming along now. They're actually getting some heavier color on them. This is the Mythbusters Knight Rider car up a ramp into a moving semi. <laughs> semi answered the question, right? <laughs> dress barn. Oh gosh, I haven't seen a dress barn in ages. Let's see, I was just at Jace Penny repairing some sheets up on online and got two new spring colored bed spreads and pillows. Nice, Stella. Apparently, no. Velocity is relative to the observer, and you would still be going at the speed of light. So my boss said, mm -hmm. <laughs> Speed of light is when you hear a sonic boom. Nothing to play with, right? Your speed would be normal relative to the speed of the ship, but you'd gain infinite mass. Ask me, you're making my mind hurt. You guys are blowing my mind. Tell them you'll go and consult your astrophysicist friends and get back to them with the answer. <laughs> would it depend on the atmosphere of the ship? But have we established, is it a boat or a spaceship? In the Star Trek universe, you're still traveling at the speed of light, but the stabilization of the ship, you can walk around and move around. Yeah, see, that's the question. If you're on a boat ship, granted, you know, like, if you go speed of light, you're going to be traveling around the Earth pretty quickly. So you got to hope there's no islands in your way. If you're on a boat ship, then that could be a problem. But a spaceship usually, uh, um, uh, what's the word, you know, accounts for the change in speed. <laughs> Tammy? Oh, nice, Deborah. And I'm not pressing very hard at all. In the Star Trek universe, they never reach the speed of light. Well, what's like warp nine? Like, what is that in comparison to speed of light? Because warp nine, but I mean, some of the ships, like in the further universe, they can go even faster than warp nine, can't they? Thank you, Angela. Boat on water cannot go the speed of light due to the resistance of the water about the vessel. Uh, yeah, but I were saying if it went the speed of light. So maybe it's got like, I don't know. I probably should have just straight thought straight to spaceship because i seriously went straight to like boat on a water i don't know why this is the way my my mind is working today warp nine was less than the speed of light okay okay well now i'm curious which warp would be the equivalent to the speed of light all right where's my trekkies at i'm assuming spaceship yeah that makes more sense i don't know why i went with with ship in the sea <laughs> all right pink Of course, now I'm remembering that she has this on mute, so my question about which kind of ship, um, she probably didn't even hear. My bad. Yeah, we're gonna take a page out of Belinda's book and we're gonna add some white highlight to the edge of the wings here. Supposedly warp 10 with speed of light. Okay, okay. Do you remember that episode in Voyager where um, Tom Paris is in the Delta Flyer and he's doing those tests where they're trying to reach the certain speed, but instead he like, uh, Catherine Janeway is with him and they end up like reverting back to like lizards or something like that because they went too fast. I forget. It, it sounds ridiculous when I'm saying it now, but the episode seemed to make sense at the time. Ashley, help me out here. 
Thanks, Randy. The Intrepid class starship Voyager had a ma- has a maximum sustainable cruising speed of warp 9.975. According to my calculations, correct me if I'm wrong, 9.975 warp is around 1,680 times light speed. Look at those numbers. Evelyn's throwing out the numbers. Ah, the ship type wasn't specified to me. It was imagining a cruise ship. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Uh, uh, I'm glad I'm not the only one thinking. Right, okay, Ashley, yes, you remember. And didn't they make lizard babies? So technically, you know, Paris and Janeway um, got a little busy. In lizard form, but nonetheless. <laughs> oh, Ashley, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> All right, where did I put my blender? Ah, there it is. Lizard babies! Well, yeah, of course it was, Steve, but that's like Star Trek canon right there. You gotta have the dumb episodes. <laughs> baby Lizard Janeway and Baby Lizard Paris. Warp speed is a concept from science fiction. It's not something that actually exists. So in the fictional universe, it is part of warp speed. It's generally faster than, than light speed. That would make sense. Tuvix! Oh, Tuvix makes me so sad. But yes, it was stupid. <laughs> Good. Do Pablos come in watercolor as well as normal color pencils? Leslie, that is a good question. You could probably search it on Amazon. I know that there is a Karen Dash watercolor, like it's an aquarelle. I don't know if the Pablos themselves are watercolor, but I think Karen Dash does make a watercolor one. I think it's on my wish list, actually. But I think I think they do make a water. Like I said, I think it's the aquarelles. Nothing casually connected can travel or happen faster than the fundamental forces of nature themselves because everything else is a result of those forces. Right, Sarah? I know. Just saying it's making my brain hurt. <laughs> All right. We're going to use uh, our Karen Dash blender now. Love this blender. Definitely going to have to go over this with, I think, a little bit of white. Kind of smooth out some of these edges. But I want to get this saturation in here first. Supras. Okay, gotcha. Supras is the water solid where Karen does. Okay, okay, okay. Most of science is theoretical, too. Who knows what we can really do? Which is kind of an exciting way to think about it. It'd be amazing if they evolve space travel within our lifetime. I think science fiction came up with warp speed because you would be warping the fabric of space time if you could go faster than light speed. Oh, that makes sense, Deborah. I love Supras. Supras are the water soluble version of Pablo's. Museum Aquarelle are the water soluble companion to the luminance. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Well, maybe I should put the super colors on my on my list at some point even the age of the earth and the universe is still up for grabs that is true there is there is speculation on that as well i mean it's not like you know somebody was kept a calendar from the dawn of time you know we have to go with what we have found you know which definitely is over interpretation oh my goodness you guys this is the perfect opportunity for something anybody know what it's a perfect opportunity for anyone Anyway, <gasps> it's the rose brush. I mean, look at all this pencil dust. I mean, just just look at that. Look at all of that beautiful, gorgeous pencil dust. Are we ready for this? Chat. Are we ready? Are we ready? <gasps> it's so pretty. Look at how clean. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> No, it was the brush time! The brush time! <laughs> Boots. Angela, woohoo! See, I love that I'm hanging out with you all because you can all appreciate how excited I can get over a brush. Like, it's just so exciting. So you're ready for a Tim Tam? No, no, no chocolate right now. No chocolate right now. I'm trying to come down off my Girl Scout cookie high. Give my body a sugar break.
So I've been lurking and coloring, but I find it highly entertaining. The last stream we were talking about poop, and now we're all sciencey. <laughs> we're a very sophisticated bunch, Anna. And hello. Now don't you dare go putting that brush on your face. I know, right? I wouldn't want to. Even if I was using a makeup brush, I feel like I'd get it all dirty. Like get makeup on it? No. <laughs> Although my Ipsy bag this month is gonna come with a um, makeup brush. So yay for that. I like that this is so thick because it's getting the waxy stuff that's like stuck on the page, you know? Yes, Girl Scout cookies. Uh, thanks, Angela. Well, we're gonna go over it with white just a little bit. We may darken it up in a few spots, but then we're gonna add um, our white highlight as well. But yeah, I definitely wanted like gradient wings. By supporting my friend's daughter sells Girl Scout cookies is to send her money and she can deal with her daughter's sugar high. <laughs> You know, the other option that you can do, like for people that don't want to um, or can't have cookies or can't have sugar, whatever, um, usually all the Girl Scouts have a digital code and then you donate money to the Girl Scouts. And what the Girl Scouts does is they take that, like say you theoretically buy six boxes in donations and they take those six boxes and they actually send them to troops overseas. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. When I got mine, I was so excited. I colored and then erased so I could use my brush. Evelyn, I love it. Now, if someone can poop faster than the speed of light, would it smell? Well, depends. Are you moving at speed of light? Girl, if you need makeup brushes, just say so. I have half a Sephora in my closet. Oh my gosh, Ash. Ashley, that's right. Didn't she used to do uh, makeup uh, tutorial videos? She really is, Ashley. She really is. Do you press down uh, hard when you use the blender? Yes, I do. I do. Like I could, here, let me um, try going a little bit lighter. Yeah, I could go lighter, but no, no, I press hard when I <laughs> use the blender. Uh, yeah, it is exclamation point flower boots. Oh, Evelyn, yeah, yeah, uh, exclamation point flower. But yes, yes, I do press hard. I don't get nearly the same effect if I press lightly. Like, I mean, you can see how dark it is there. But, I mean, it works a little bit. But not to the level that I use. I guess I never thought about the pressure I use with the blender. But yes, I press pretty hard. Really, really mush it in there. There we go. Okay, uh, I had to throw that out there. Yes, I did. I was a national senior artist for Sephora for nine years. What? Well, because it's honestly, as I was thinking about it, I was just like, I'm going to show this and it's going to be like, because it's so cool. And I was just like, you know what? I should probably just grab the link and then that way we can just put it in. And I mean, people are asking about it now. But yeah, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like, even my daughter saw it, Ev, and she was just like, oh, because it looks like a flower. Like, I find it even, like, at first I just saw, like, this part, and I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. And then I saw that they even, like, cut and trimmed it to look like a rose. Like, how cool is that? Uh, I didn't start this rose brush trend, Evelyn. That was you, Missy. And you should be very proud of it because this is seriously like the coolest brush. So cool. All right. We are going to, seriously Ev, you're amazing. So amazing. All right. We're gonna give this a quick sharpen. I'm hesitant to sharpen my Prisma in this shorter one, but we'll do it. All right, now we're gonna use the white one. Okay, I'm gonna smooth out some of these edges just a little bit. I mean, it's interesting too, because I mean, we are doing Pablo's, which are te technically a wax base, but they're definitely harder than um, the Caran So you're doing Pablo's with 
you know, a wax blender on top and then adding Prisma on top. It does a pretty good job. Okay. But if there's just any harsh lines from the blending, you know, take into account that the white is going to lighten your color some. But if there's any harsh lines for the blending, um, this white can kind of smooth that out just a little bit more. <laughs> Well, Angela, you know, so far, you know, I'm doing, um, I'm doing Ipsy and so far I've gotten one, two, three, four bags because I had gotten some bonus points, um, because they had, they had gotten something wrong. So they, you know, to make me, make it up to me, they had given me some extra bonus points. So I ordered an extra bag. In hindsight, I should have saved those points for, you know, a cool piece of makeup to go with it. Um... But yeah, so I've been using them for various things. So I've got um, like one bag I keep, you know, like my any makeup sponges or eyeshadow brushes. Um, another bag has um, actually I have some um, like hot rollers that have the metal pins and um, I have a bag that holds those. And then um, I've got another bag that holds like um, miscellaneous uh, like smaller pieces of makeup like you know they, they send single samples of eyeshadow sometimes so like I have that in there you know like the foundation samples that kind of thing and then funnily enough they sent a kind of plasticky one it was like vinyl I guess not plastic um but I really liked it and um the other day I had to run out to go it was doctor's appointment or something I actually grabbed it and I put like my ID and my debit card and stuff in there and I just honestly used it as a purse <laughs> Because I knew I could easily sanitize it when I got home. Oh, really, Angela? Angela, was it you who were saying that you also did the Ipsy thing? I'm having so much fun with it. Honestly, it has been my little, like, 2020 self-care. Like, seriously. Okay. So, it is 9.36. Look at that. It only took us an hour to do color on the wing. Um, Do I want to... No, you know what? We're going to leave it as is. My instinct was like, do I want to add some more shadow behind it? But I'm going to leave it as is and we're going to go ahead and add our white highlight. Let's see. My dog told me to eat more salt, so I'm munching Chex Mix. Nice. Ooh, and cheese. Cheese too. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a little shake as it is. We are using the Posca, Uniposca brush pen that I've sent. And let's see, maybe we can zoom in a little bit more. All right, so we're going to pop this off here. Like I said, if you want to prime it, you pop this off. And you treat it like a like a clicky pen, but I don't think we need to right now. So we're just gonna we're gonna give this a shot here, yeah. All right, let's see. Where do I want to put this? Let's do. Let's see, do I want to go over that black line? I don't know if I want to go over it. It dries pretty fast. Ooh, yeah, let's go over it. That looks nice. Not completely thick white, but it does... It's definitely going to take some practice to figure out exactly how it is I want to use it. Let's zoom out a little bit. It says to get it for a while, had to stop for now. That's fair. That's fair. It's totally not me you're talking about, uh, but also it's totally me. Wait, what is it? Let's see. Uh, yeah, so use them for money and receipts. Nice. I can't remember who, but one of the streamers used a makeup bag to put all their miscellaneous color supplies in. <laughs> Actually, now I get it. I have a Smashbox makeup bag that is a fanny pack. Nice. Uh, yeah. Um, who was it? Shaleen. Shaleen was saying that she uses one of them to keep her pens in for when she writes her checks. And then everybody proceeded to give her a hard time about being the check lady. Ooh, okay. I'll have to keep an eye out for it. 
I used to get so many beauty boxes. I stopped Allure. I used to get Ipsy, Birchbox, Glossy, Sephora Play. I still get Boxy Charm and Fab Fit Fun. I don't think I'd get another one because I mean, it comes once a month and already like it's fun to try new stuff every month, but I could see how it would get to be too much after a while. So I don't see myself signing up for more than one. And plus I liked Ipsy because it was only like 12 bucks. And I don't really drink. Like, I occasionally have, like, some Prosecco or some Sangria, but really not very often. So, I mean, if I was a drinker, I'd spend more on alcohol. And this, you know, this is my, my happy, you know, self-care time. <laughs> nice, Evelyn. Ooh, art snacks, yes. Well, see, and a lot of those boxes are... Um, They're fairly expensive. And Ipsy was only... Now, granted, you can do, you know, add-ons and stuff if you want to. Um, but, like, if I do, like, I limit myself to, um, like, one add-on. And it's, like, the $3 add-on um, if I do get anything. Um, but, yeah. I feel like the $12 is much more affordable. There we go. It's coming along. What do we think? Let's see. Now you're talking makeup and I don't understand any of it. Give me quantum physics any day, Aspie. I love it. I have way too much makeup that I buy myself. I gave so much beauty box of items away. I still have a ton, so I was wasting money. That's fair. I used to get insurance for years and have so many issues, bags laying around. I now get boxes, my favorite. I tried them all. I have an entire room for my makeup. It's a problem. And <laughs> it now shares with my coloring and art area. Well, the funny thing is, is um, post pandemic, I kind of um, stopped doing makeup or really any self care. It was a lot e more easy to say, well, I'm not going anywhere. What's the point, you know? And then I realized that I enjoy doing my makeup and my hair because it makes me feel good about me, you know? And, um, you know, it makes me feel like I'm actually making an effort. And, you know, now I have. I have this job where I have, you know, multiple Zoom meetings a day. So I do want to look presentable for that anyway. But I just found that I wanted to do it for me, you know? Hi, Hedwig. Oh, Ipsy. Gotcha. I like to use India Ink to white outlines. Yeah, India Ink works nice. See, because where I worked, we got goddess all the time. So I ended up with like 38 foundations, 30 bronzers, so much skincare. It was a problem or not a problem. <laughs> My third baby right before pandemic and haven't done my makeup in over a year. Anna! As I tried Art Snack Palette Full Scrawlbox for three months, I renewed Art Snack and Palette Full, but not Scrawlbox. Yeah, I haven't tried any of those. I assume Palette Full is like a painting one, and Scrawlbox would be like a drawing one, and then art would be like general art supplies. But yeah, I just found, and now, not to mention, um, I got my sister to start doing it and then my other sister got on board so now whenever we get our ipsy packages um we do we use marco polo and so that's how we keep up and we have kind of like a sister chat going on and so we've got we've had that to kind of like bond over a little bit you know we're well and all of us doing ipsy and um it's fun to be like oh well i got this this month and this is what i got and this is what i felt about it you know give it like a makeup book club Okay, so I might still white out on the outside of the wing, but if I do, I'm going to wait until um, we get closer, like doing a background and stuff. Uh, what do we say? So it was two months to get a box from the UK. Oof, that's rough. No, that's fair, Boots. Well, for me, for me, it was more of a when I decided to go back into it, I wasn't happy with the makeup that I was using that I had been using previously. I feel like my skin has changed a little bit. And so I was starting from kind of square one. I didn't really have any makeup because it had been so long since I bought it. The stuff that I had had gone bad. I didn't really know what I wanted anymore. And so I was just like, this seems like a good opportunity for me to try some things that I probably wouldn't have purchased. You know what I mean? Thanks, Mona. So for me, the timing was just really right. 
Oh, nice, Evelyn. I sold women designer fragrances at Macy's for 27 years as my part-time job along with my full-time job. And you can't believe all of the gratis. We got a ton of fragrances. Oh, that's awesome, Rindy. I tend to do a lot of research about my art grade supplies. Some of the boxes don't have art grades. That's fair. That's fair. Then again, you're not... Oh, they're not that popular. Oh, I got you in Australia. Yeah, yeah, I got I got that boots. I got that. It's it's all kind of the same the same idea as far as, you know, when you decide to do any of those boxes. Oh no, Hedwig, it's so early. Oh, right, Ashley. I got my sister suggested a perfume sampler sampler to me the other day. It's like supposed to be like this natural thing. And I like them a lot. Um, it's got four scents in it. It's Henry Rose and like it's fresh, but you know, I don't go through that much perfume. So it's going to take me a while. And it came with like these, it's a little glass bottle and it is, this one is Henry, let's see, Jake's house. This one is fog. This one is last light. And this one is Smith. Anyway, they all they all smell really good. And so it's fun just to, you know, mix up the perfume for the day. Okay, let's move on, shall we? Let's do this bottom wing here. We'll do this other uh, we'll do this other wing the same way that we did this one. Let's zoom out a little bit. Alright, what are we thinking of this? Hmm? Very, very light and swoopy. Um, actually, I kind of feel like I want to do her bottom wing the same color style. Let's move on to the mushroom, actually. I think I'll do the bottom wing in the same colors that we did this one. So they're going to be similar. Thanks, Rhea. Thanks, Angela. Let's move on to the mushroom cap, shall we? We've got 45 minutes. So let's do... Let's start with indigo. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. Give me like 60 seconds. I'm back. Have a good night, Ashley. Get some rest. Aw, thanks. All right. So we're going to start with... Let's see. Let's start with Violet, which I think I have out already. That's Lilac. Violet. Here we go. Okay, Violet. Oh my gosh, guys. I had to mute. I had a cough drop in my mouth and I just swallowed it whole. Oh my god. I turned to say something and it just popped over the back of my tongue and <laughs> Okay. Well, that's go. Oh. <laughs> that was that's very refreshing going down my esophagus. Oh my gosh. I got to drink a water. That's why I had to pause for a second. I was like, shook. I'm like, oh my God, I got a mute. <laughs> mm. Oh my word. That was, that was unpleasant. <laughs> oh, I got to collect myself for a second. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh. Right, Kenny? It was like, I had literally just put it in my mouth because my throat was a little dry. And, um, yeah, don't choke. Whew. And you're like, why did she hit that thing again? Because I swallowed a cough drop whole. That's why. Oh, my gosh. I can feel, like, the cooling effect, like, literally going down right now. This is really unnerving. Yeah, I'm okay. That was just... <laughs> okay, so, note to self, 
don't eat, talk, and try and do something at the same time. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's gonna melt eventually. That was just a really unnerving sensation. <laughs> All right, give me one second. Hmm. Gather myself a little bit. Yeah, I know, right, Shannon? You know, it wasn't too much boots because it had been in my mouth long enough that it had completely softened all the way around. So it was smooth. It's probably why it slid back so easily. But I just, I turned and I talked and it just, yeah, it won't be. Like, I'm feeling like all the way down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mama, I said don't talk in your mouth. I know, right? Go figure. You talk and try and do too many things and you start choking. Oh my gosh. I think part of it is because I turned also, like I turned my head. Oh my gosh. That was... Yeah, all I could do was like push my button here to try and mute because I had no idea if I was gonna like be able to cough it up or if I was gonna start choking. I'm like, oh my god, because I'm right next to the mic. I'm like, they don't want to hear that. My throat feels better though. Yeah, it's... Forget, you know, just leaving the cough drop in your mouth. Just swallow it whole. Just coat the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Please do not take life lessons from me. Just, just don't. <laughs> All right, so purple violet um, is the color I want. Uh, that's lilac. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm totally distracted now. Yeah, Kenny, me too. <laughs> <laughs> right, Angie? You guys would be like, why is the cat throwing up? Oh no, that's just Emily. All right, we're good. Keep moving. Nothing to see here. Oh my gosh. That was really just weird. Um, Actually, I think I want to get purplish red instead. <laughs> well, I'm awake. Oh, definitely. I think because it was so, you know, it's oval and it was smooth. It literally just like slid back. It wasn't big enough, but. Uh, what color am I doing the skirt? I am going to do the skirt the same as the above. It'll be leaves also. I suppose if you wanted to, we could do it like a, like a flower. Could do a flower. <laughs> I'm so glad, Pam. Yeah, we could do like a flower. I didn't think about that. I guess in my head, I always just saw it as green. Oh my goodness. I just, just burped a little and it was all minty. That was really weird. Yeah, right, Angela? <laughs> oh my gosh, never swallow a cough drop whole. It's weird. It's weird. All right, purplish red. And let's grab carmine. <clears throat> carmine. Maybe a darker green? Maybe. I think maybe I'm gonna wait and see what color the mushroom ends up looking and then maybe we'll do something contrasting with that. Cause I will probably do the rest um, of the wings offline because I'm gonna do the rest of them the same way I did this wing. So I'll have the wings finished by next time. And then we're doing this mushroom part here, probably the stem. And then maybe on next stream, we'll do the skirt and finish off her skin and the butterfly and then back. I don't know, we'll see how far we get tonight. Oh, gosh, my esophagus is all mentholated. This is the weirdest thing. This is the weirdest sensation. I'm not going to lie. Okay, um, carmine and let's do raspberry red because I don't want to go pink. I want to go red. Let's see, raspberry red. And then if we do anything else, let's grab salmon. It's kind of orangey. Okay. So, the colors that we have for the mushroom are going to be violet, purplish red, carmine, raspberry red, and salmon. Let's see, I don't know. The, the glare on those makes it hard to see. Yeah, it's hard to see. But anyway, violet, purplish red, carmine, raspberry red, and salmon. Now, my friends, kids are wanting to play a game. Be safe all and happy coloring. Good night, Alex. So thanks so much for being here. All right. I don't know that I really need to sharpen any of these right now. I think they're all good. Raspberry red, lemon yellow, orange, orange. Yippee! <laughs> oh, thanks, Kenny. Solidarity, cough drop, choking solidarity. Woo! <laughs> 
All right, so we're going to start with Violet. For the darkest shadowy area. I don't know what color I'll make the spots yet. I'm probably, honestly, I'll probably go with white. I did, Boots. I saw that you got yours. I um, pre-ordered mine on Amazon a while ago. Um, but honestly, um, I've got a, there's a new book coming out by a semi-new illustrator that I'll be um, getting at some point this month. Um, I'm actually really excited about it. It's a gorgeous book. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, uh, this month and then shortly, you know, soon I'll be getting, um, you know, Johanna's will be here soon. And so I'm not too worried about Kirby. I struggle to color Kirby's. And so as awesome as I thought that it was that the other, you know, a few of the other, you know, like Sammy and Claire all got early copies. I really wasn't like, oh, I want it mostly because I just have such a hard time coloring. So his book is gorgeous, but I'm not nearly as excited about his book as I am like say Johanna's book so you know when it gets here it gets here and I'll, I'll enjoy coloring it but ah oh, Tanya's still here oh Evelyn doesn't want to hold on still keeps yelling at me <laughs> let's see what I miss up top hang on But yeah, so mine will probably be here. Um, ooh, what were what were you eating, Tanya? What were you eating? Yeah, mine will probably be here when most of the U.S. get the, gets theirs. But that's so cool that yours showed up um, early with Book Depository. You said you ordered it back in July, so that's cool. You must have been like on the list for for a while then for like people that you know get theirs out first. I don't recall when I pre-ordered mine, to be perfectly honest. Aww. Yeah, those teeth are hard. The funny thing is, is my daughter, you know, she's older, but she's getting um some some of her molars in. And she told me the other day, she's fussing. She's like, mommy, my mouth is sore. And I look back there and we have just gone to the dentist within the last month. So I had the x-rays to show her exactly which tooth was pushing up. And she was like, oh. Hi, Kim. Oh, Deborah. Oh, scrambled eggs and chocolate silk pie. Tanya, you've been spending too much time with Shannon. <laughs> Sarah, tell Emily what type of book you have in your closet. Uh, Kim, I have been on since 830. Sounds good, Rhea. What kind of book do you have in your closet, Sarah? I'm curious now. Um. Okay, now we're going to do purplish red. Although a chocolate silk pie does sound good. I'm telling you, this is the best this cough drop has ever worked. My cough is gone. <laughs> it wasn't at the same time. Right, Sarah? Well, you know, it's interesting. When they're babies, they fuss and they cry and you give them, you know, like I remember I gave her like a cold carrot that she would gnaw on or, you know, a frozen washcloth or any kind of other teether or whatever else. But, you know, when they're older... You just kind of have to sit down and explain it to them because it's not practical to give them Tylenol or Motrin, you know, all the time until the tooth comes in. It's just something they kind of have to have to deal with till it pushes through. And I think it really helped her visualize it when I could show her the x-ray and be like, this is the exact tooth that's coming through. This is why it hurts. And I was able to take a picture of where the tooth is coming through and I showed her that. Wait, does he already have that on pre-order uh, boots? I didn't realize it. Agreed, agreed. You know, I'm even mildly curious about the uh, um, the different food tastes. You have Johanna Bass for books, yay! Yeah, I have so many copies of her books. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a true confession here. Does anybody want to know what I just finished eating, Kim? Now I am intrigued. I am literally on the edge of my seat. Well, actually, I'm kind of slumped in the seat. Um. But yes, Kim, I would love to know what you just finished eating. Do tell. Oh, okay, cool, Boots. Oh, 
What is better, the US or UK version of Johanna Bucks? Um, I wouldn't say the one's better than the other. Um, the difference that I have, differences that I have found is, um, for instance, in Lost Ocean, I believe it's the whale, the image is flipped, um, but also the covers are usually different. And sometimes the UK book is just slightly smaller. And we all saw on that dragon picture that the editing on the dragon belly was slightly different. Very small things. Um, I don't think one is better than the other. Uh, I think it's just more a matter of preference. Honestly, I like to collect both because it has different covers. But there's also different books in a bunch of different countries. Like the um, Enchanted Forest Enchanted Forest version from Spain is gorgeous. The cover is just absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, I don't think one's better than the other. I think it's just a preference. I think like one had like a inside coverlet on it, the other one didn't, that kind of thing. Oh, oh yeah, Sarah, I'm I'm like Sarah, if you look back on my past streams, I actually had Johanna on the channel and I did a live interview with her. Um, I've actually met her. Uh, had coffee with her, hung out with her for a little bit. Let's see. Let's grab a picture. I've done, um, if you go to her website on uh, under books and you go to Secret Garden, the color pages on there, those are mine. Ta-da! This was a few years ago. My hair does not look like this and I have different glasses, but... Yeah. I went to Scotland and I met her. And we had tea at, well... She had tea, I had coffee. <laughs> we all know that story. Uh, it was absolutely lovely. And I have a few um, handful of her signed books as well. Uh, did Johanna Bassford's new book come out yet? No, not yet. It is due to come out March 31st. Getting one of each of Johanna's new book, compare them. I like dust jackets, but I'm not sure of the paper in the UK. Uh, paper is usually uh, pretty similar. Yes, yes, uh, Pam, Sarah, it was a wonderful, oh, thanks, fun time, and hello. It was an absolutely um, wonderful, wonderful trip. I would love to go back. But yeah, I've got a few um, of her signed books. In fact, when her How to Draw book came out, I got a special edition, because generally I get the bloggers boxes that get sent out. So she sent out this to the bloggers beforehand, and it was a little smaller edition uh the how to draw was like a sneak peek um let's see i don't know how many copies is this one of the signed ones okay this is not one of the signed ones but ah here we go i think this one is signed yeah there we go so i started coloring this one this one's signed and then making me want it to come out yesterday oh my gosh that cake page and then my pride and joy because i have a few other signed ones um but my pride and joy of my johanna collection along with this one here she gave me this book when um i came to visit her not to mention i have a shirt i've got this candle you can see these in the background of her live streams in the morning. She's got a stock of these on her shelves. Um, but yeah, I've got actually two shirts. I've got two shirts. Um, I've got the candle, but this, a chocolate candy. Oh, wait, 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 Kim's, Kim's confession. Kim's confession. Hold up, hold up. Uh, okay, so it all started with chocolate cream, which is odd for me. Normally, I go to force myself to eat because I never appetite. Well, I ate the fiber one bar with chocolate and Twinkie. <laughs> it's very unusual for me to eat this kind of stuff. Now I'm sick. Oh, no. I got one of my picks along with other fans all putting... Yes! Oh, I saw that, Sarah! That was so cool. That was so cool. It wouldn't be able to cut anything out of a signed book. Um, some of them are a couple... Oh, thanks, Kim. Well, Pam, I don't know if she ever actually, um, you might be able to find them online. The one I have, I don't think you can, like the scent you can't find online, but Steve gets major um, husband points for this one. Most of you have been around, have seen this one, but this is a book that she put out before she put out coloring books. This is not meant as a coloring book. This is meant as a finished work of art book. Um, but before she became a um, coloring book illustrator, she had an art show um, put out by DCA, ooh, what is it called? Like DCA, 
Yes, Dundee Contemporary Arts, DCA. Uh, and all of these books, she screen printed herself and hand cut the covers. And there was a limited edition run of these. Um, and so this, I brought it with me when I went to Scotland and she signed it for me um, there. But like I said, it's not meant as a coloring book. It is meant as a finish. And I have a flip through of this um, on my channel, but this is meant as a finished um, book of illustrations. Um, but so this book is out of print. They're not making any more of them. Like this is, this is it. And so we had looked on Amazon and the book was like selling for a couple hundred dollars. It was really, or I don't even remember if it was a couple, anyway, it was really expensive. And so Steve got the idea. He found the publisher and he called them or emailed them, uh, directly. And he said, Hey, I'd really like to, you know, get one of these. Do you have any more? And he got this book for 25 bucks plus shipping and surprised me with it. And yeah. And by the way, yes, it does live in a plastic bag. This, this is my pride and joy of my Johanna collection. And I do not want a cat chewing on it. I don't want it getting wet for whatever reason. Like this stays protected and it stays, yeah, Texas tough on the book. Anyway. Super classy way to store it, I know, but I want that thing protected, man. But I also like to be able to take it out and look at it. But um, yeah, that's my number one. This frame actually too, she sent this frame when she sent um, my thank you box. Candle, $40 on Amazon, temporarily out of stock. There you go. Uh, she, when I colored in the um, Secret Garden book, it sent it back. As a thank you, she sent the people, because it was me and two other artists or colorists that did it. She sent us a thank you box of goodies and um, that frame was in there. So, yeah, I, I'm kind of a Johanna Bassford fan. <laughs> Only a little one, I swear. I swear. <laughs> but it's nice, too, because she and I are, it, it's not like a fangirly thing. Like, I appreciate her stuff as it's a little fangirly, who am I kidding? But I appreciate her stuff as an artist. So aside from the fact that I love her stuff so much, we can also email and and chat regularly like friends, especially since I've, you know, gone to meet her. And so, you know, we send a couple emails a month, probably just about various things. But yeah, she is by far, hands down, my favorite illustrator out there. Easy. Um, okay, Carmine. So yeah, in case you can't tell, I like her stuff. <laughs> actually, fun fact, it was because of Johanna that I actually got my printer that I have now. I don't know how many of you remember. And again, I've probably told this story before. I talk a lot on here. I retell some stories, so. Right, Deborah? Exactly. Yes, major points for Steve Kim. Um, but way back when, maybe three-ish years ago, um, Johanna collaborated with Canon and I don't know if I said it, I'm using Carmine, um, collaborated with Canon and spring, you know, uh, spring, summer, fall and winter, she put out a exclusive coloring page that you could get through downloading it through, um, Canon on their printer and printing it directly. So anyway, I did that. And every time that it released, Ooh, Secret Garden Book is $7? Nice, look at that. Uh, yeah, most definitely, Evelyn. Most definitely. <laughs> um, oh, thanks, Kim. I look different than that now. I do. That was, that was a handful of years ago. Um, but anyway, so they put them out, um, uh, 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 once a season, and every time it came out with a new one, I was generally the first one to post on social media because I was so excited. I'd print it and like I would just color like mad like that entire day and I would get it done. And I didn't think anything of it. Well, some time passed and then I got an email from Canon. And as it turns out, not a lot of people colored them and posted them. I don't entirely know why, but mine was steadily put out. Anyway, so Canon contacted me and they're like, hey, so, we saw what you did for this event and we loved it so much. We want to send you a printer. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so they sent me a Canon printer and it's the one that I still use today. And um, a signed copy of one of Johanna's books. I forget which one it was at the time. Um, Might've been Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, maybe? 
But yeah, so Canon sent me my printer. <laughs> Is the paper different now than the first round of Secret Garden? Oh, yeah. Well, you'll be able to, I think you could look on there and see which publishing number it is. But most of the old ones aren't around anymore. I occasionally see one at like Barnes & Noble, but that's been ages. I think that if you were to order Secret Garden now, the paper would be better. And for seven bucks, it's probably worth the risk. Now, are you kidding me? If I lived in Scotland, my dream job would be to probably like work as Joanna's assistant, you know, help her edit her pictures or, you know, do whatever else. Ghost, ghost illustrate for her or something. Not, not that she has a ghost illustrator, but I'm saying, you know, that would be a dream job. I would love that. All right. Now we're going to use raspberry red. Oh, yeah, um, Angela, the very first ones are practically like, um, like kids coloring book paper, the very first ones that they put out, but they since in, um, have improved them, like significantly, the reprintings of them. We're definitely going to go over this with another layer. Oh my gosh, Angie, I would so do that. Oh, thanks, Pam. Well, not quite, but you know, assist her, assist her in her artwork and her day-to-day -day art, art stuff. That would be a cool job. I'd totally be down for that. Are you kidding me? Not to mention I get to live in Scotland. I'm just saying. Like I remember um, like a couple years back, she was advertising for a studio assistant job or was it like an intern or something? And I, for, for a brief millisecond until I realized how crazy it was, um, for a brief millisecond, I looked at Steve. I was like, so we can move to Scotland, right? <laughs> Ooh, World of Flowers is only 10? Hot huh? dang. For seven bucks, Angela, it might be worth just ordering just one. About a year after it came out, the paper was really good. Yeah, they definitely, they fixed, they fixed the later ones. Amazon has three for the price of two right now and a bunch of coloring books are on there. Ooh, that's cool. The first three I've had since, uh, since I think, oh, 2016. I'm trying to think when I first started. I want to say, I think it was when I was pregnant. So I want to say like maybe 2011. Could be wrong. Oh, awesome, Miss Swayze, and welcome. Oh, I like your profile picture. It's Tom Nook. Magical Jungle 797. Oh my gosh. Get them. Get them. Get them. I mean, I already have like three copies of each, so I probably shouldn't get any more. But. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, hot dang, man. Yeah. Take advantage of that. Get yourself some Johanna books. All right. Salmon. Yeah, we're definitely going to go in with another layer. This is like way crooked for you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, sounds good, Marilyn. Get some rest, hon. I don't know if I'll add much more purple, though. So what do we have? We have purplish red. Okay, is it weird that swallowing that cough drop has actually worked wonders for my throat? Go figure. <laughs> yeah, because um, my very first book was Enchanted Forest. Um... Oop, got some on her leg. Don't want to keep that there. Um, my first was Enchanted Forest, and that was her second book. And that one was, oh, look at that. I got ink on there. Um, that one was pretty new um, when I got it. Hi, Joanna. Oh, we're, we're realizing that um, Johanna's books are like all on sale on Amazon. What is Secret Garden Inky's Treasure Hunt? What is Secret Garden Inky's Treasure? Well, I mean, in the, oh, let's grab it. In her Secret Garden books. Oh, nice, Miss Swayze. Did you see that they're running that sale? It's like 85 bucks. 
Oh, nice, Angela. So, oh, an inky treasure hunt and coloring book. So she has like little bits and bobs that are hidden throughout the book. I want to see. I know she did the same thing with Secret Garden. I can't remember if she had a list in Secret. Oh, come on. Turn the page. Turn the page. Yeah, here we go. This paper is much more cream than her later ones. I don't know. Let's see. This is printing. I have one of the original ones somewhere. I think I gave it to the kids. Oh, well, that's Magical Jungle. That doesn't belong in there. Um, Let's see. Okay, so this is published in 2013 is when Secret Garden came out. Um, This one is reprinted five times, six times, 14 times. So this one will be the 14th printing in 2015. That's what this one is. Oh, the title of the new one is um, Worlds of Wonder. And actually, the link for that is in the description below. Let's see. This one is also that cream paper. So this one was only the fourth reprint in 2015. Yeah, Worlds of Wonder is the new one. Yeah, I don't know where the old one is that I have. Like I said, I gave it to the kids. I had it spiral bound, I think. But, yeah. Oh, thanks, Pam. Uh, okay, now let's grab Carmine. But yeah, I think it's a pretty well-known fact that uh, my channel is pretty much Johanna land. <laughs> Are more cream paper? More cream than that? I have the artist edition of Enchanted Forest, but only colored a few pages. I love the artist edition, but I don't think they have plan. I don't think they have any plans on um, doing any more artist editions. If I remember correctly, I can't remember if we asked it on my channel or if it was one of her live streams. Um, but it's hard trying to find publishers to work with to do the artist editions. But she does put out, you know, like the calendars and all that kind of stuff. You know, Boots, that's me too. I enjoy Kirby's books because his illustrations are intricate and gorgeous. But I don't get nearly as excited about his illustrations as I do Johanna's. I mean, now there's really... Christine Karen lately... You know, I get pretty excited about hers. I like um, when I get the notification that she's posted something new. You better believe I run right over to Etsy to see what it is. Um, but I don't think there's any other illustrators that I get nearly as excited about um, as with Johanna's. And I think part of that is, you know, Johanna's books are what I started on. You know, like it's it's practically a throwback. So I, I, I think I would be... I would have to find a, find a pretty intense uh, illustrator to replace how much I love about it. Can you get it on Amazon UK? No, Joanna's in Texas. Are you talking about Kirby's, Joanna? I'm not buying the new Kirby, at least for now. I have a few of his. I'm really hard to color. Yes. Yes, I struggle to color Kirby's as well, and I have them, but... We, we've literally finished one page on his. I don't, I, I, I would like to see how they look when they're finished, but I'd be lying if I said that I enjoy them as much. They're just, I just have to think too much when I do his, you know? They're so gorgeous and he's so talented, but I just find them so difficult to color. Clara Markova, that's good. Yeah, Joanna, I'm right there with you. Yes. And, and isn't a certain percentage of the, of what he's making on the Kirby books, isn't that going to, uh, like wildlife, uh, ref refuges? No, what's the word? Anyway. Um, but isn't he donating a certain percentage of it? The current version of Secret Garden is the color of the liquid in a jar full of old dill pickles. Well, here in Australia, I've been waiting for a long time for the color to improve. Oh, hello, coloring down under. Welcome. Um, <clears throat> On the inside, sorry, uh, on the inside cover, does it say which reprint it is? I'm curious. I did the balloon one, Geomorphia. Nice. Colin Thompson and Kirby. You know, I need to look at Colin Thompson. I'm using Raspberry Red. Colin Thompson, I recognize the name, but his pictures aren't coming to mind. 
That's what it was. Yeah, percentage of fragile world is going to nature preservation. See, that's cool. That That's enough to... The new book is doing a donation to animal conservation. Yeah, that in itself, with how much I enjoy looking at his pictures, is reason enough for me to purchase, even if I have no plans to color in it. And it's almost like it becomes like what? Like a coffee table book, you know, something you could put out there that, you know... Not that we have too many guests these days anyway, just because, you know, life. Um, but, you know, something for you to flip through and look at. Uh, let's see. Busy World's Color in Heaven is Colin Thompson. Oh, is that that uh, UK subscription, Color in Heaven? What shall Ashley and Tammy are coloring right now? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I just got Jasmine Beckett, Griffiths, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, very cool, Randy. Haven't checked. I just uh, flipped through at the shop, and if it's pickle colored, I put it down. That's fair. I wouldn't necessarily want to color on pickles. Well, now, just for comparison's sake, I'm wondering if I should order one of the Amazon ones. What is it? I think... What is it? Exclamation point. Secret garden? I wonder if I have a link for it. Emily, I completely blame you for my stash of... <laughs> Aren't they wonderful boots? I love them. I love them so much. <laughs> Colin Thompson. <laughs> yes, Karen is amazing. Okay, and then Salmon. Perfect. Okay, there's the link. Okay, I want to check that out for myself real quick. How much is it? Oh my gosh. $6.00. And 60 cents. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do some Johanna shopping when we're done. My gosh, look at that. Save 59%. <gasps> oh, I have to do some shopping. Shh, no one tell Steve. <laughs> Let's see, I wonder, do I have Enchanted Forest? What about Lost Ocean? Now I'm curious about the other ones. There we are. Cool. I did have those commands correct. Okay, uh, let's see. Secret Garden, Enchanted Forest, and Lost Ocean. Sorry, I know I'm getting distracted, but now I'm curious how much these are. $9.99 for Enchanted Forest and Lost Ocean as soon as it loads. Yeah, Lost Ocean isn't that on sale. It's $14.13. But still. Under seven for for Secret Garden? Maybe. Maybe. Christmas book is only $7.90, but I have it. Yeah, I have a couple. Honestly, I have multiple copies of all of them. But I am curious. I will probably get the Secret Garden one just so I can compare the paper with the most recent printing. You know, for informative sake, I have to be informed for you all. <laughs> Evelyn. No, he won't care. <laughs> What's a good metallic pencils and pastel colors? Well, I hear the whole binds are good for pastel. I don't have them myself. Um, but I like the Ergosofts for when I make pastel colors. And metallic pencils, I don't use too much. Most of the time, I just try and color metallic um, shapes. But I don't know. I can't really think. What's a good metallic one? Three copies of Ivy, and I haven't colored many pages in the first one. Johanna's is the only one that I have multiple copies of, Randy. The only one. I don't buy multiple copies of any of the other ones. But that's also because I like to um, color her books multiple times. <laughs> yeah, I don't do it with anybody else's. I'm trying to think if I've got... I mean, I've got two Doctor Who books, but they're two different ones. I don't have multiples of Hannah Carlson. Yeah. Yeah, Johanna's is the only one I have multiples of. Monarchs. That's the other one. Monarchs has a lot. I have to admit, I own all of Johanna's coloring books, but I haven't colored a single picture in none of them. Well, Anna, you've come to the right place because we color Johanna galore. You are in good company here if coloring Johanna is something that you would like to do in the future. Because I can tell you right now, here coming up, we're going to be hitting the Johanna books hard as soon as we get our new copy of it. For sure. I'm not sure what we're going to do next after this one. That new book that I was talking about earlier might be here by the time I finish this one. So, because we've got at least another week on this one. I mean, since I only stream two days a week right now. 
I have two Nightfall because I had a copy my sister gave me over Christmas. Okay. I'm like, her number one fan. I don't know. There's some other pretty big fans out there. You know, Bev is at every single one of her live streams. I, I can't always be at her live streams in the morning because I have meetings, which I just, ugh, I hate. But it is nice because a lot of people know me as, you know, like connected of sorts to Johanna's books. So a lot of times if somebody has a question or wants to see something Johanna colored, they know where to go, you know? I don't know, when I am in her streams, I like to... Because I know a lot of the answers to the questions that people ask because I've heard so many of her interviews. I've done interviews of her myself, uh, you know, and I'm here for a lot of them. So I know a lot of the answers. So a lot of times I'll try to um, answer for her, you know, because um, she's usually preoccupied with coloring. So a lot of times, and so if I know the answer, I'll pipe up with it. Uh, well, at least I have her new book on a pre-order. Yes, as do I. Wasn't it Arteza that produced a color matching set to Holbein Pastel Range? I didn't know that. I'll have to look it up. Is your pre-order coming in April like mine? Um, Rindy, I got an update that said it's coming March 31st, but, um, if she decides to send out bloggers boxes again, um, um, I've got my fingers crossed that, um, because I've gotten the books, the bloggers boxes in the past, so I've got my fingers crossed that, um... I will get that. So I may actually end up getting it even earlier. So no, you got on a plane, girl. <laughs> the only ones I've done multi so far are Carolina Kubikowska and Jane F. Hankins. Ah, okay. And a cuckoo. Let's see. Like, I like how Johanna is using a limited amount of color pencils so people don't have to get the large sets. Oh yeah, definitely. I have two copies of Kirby's Color Morphia. I took one apart so I could color the double dragon. I wanted an untouched book as, as reference. Yes, Joanna! Uh, Evelyn sent me these beautiful, gorgeous brushes because I misplaced the one that Kenny sent me along with Posca brushes. I had happy mail today. April 6th. Okay, I'm wondering if that has to do with like what order you pre-ordered them in, you know? Okay, this mushroom, by the way, is way too pink. It needs to be much more red. Oh, no, 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 Boots. Uh, so the way that it works, if I were to um, get one of the um, the books, Boots, it's not like it's a requirement, but it's kind of an unspoken thing that if you get an early book, um, people like to... Yes, they do. Uh, Kim, type in exclamation point blender. They like to be able to come to the channels to see the pages before they make the purchase. So no, I mean, no offense, but if I get mine early... I will be coloring hardcore in it. Like, that is what we will be doing. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm not going to wait. <laughs> I am not going to be waiting on that one. Because it's not like you guys can't go back and watch, but if I'm not going to show it ahead of time to show people what's in the book, then there's really no point in getting it earlier. You know what I mean? Besides, I don't think I'd be able to wait. That sh You kidding me? You kidding me? It's a Johanna book. I'd be like, ah! Look, look what we did. <laughs> yeah, sorry, not waiting. I love you all, but I'm not waiting. I will be coloring it as soon as I get it. Dude, if I, you know, and, and not saying that I will for sure, but if I do, if I do, like we will literally like do a stream, like unplanned stream, the box shows up and I'll be like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, just kind of like when, when Claire got the Kirby book, um, when Claire got the Kirby book, she did that flip through and people absolutely loved it. Her, her YouTube was just flooded. That was amazing. I was so excited for her. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, well, Boots, she hasn't even received the, um... She has the UK copy right now, which she's coloring for the photo shoot of the book, but Johanna herself hasn't even received the US copy. And besides, it's not surprising considering um, just how things are with the pandemic. Um, by the way, I'm gonna get Scarlet. Yeah, I want Scarlet. Um, I think it's just probably taking a little bit longer for everything, but I'm not concerned. I mean, March 31st is still a little ways off. I think the last time um, we got the bloggers boxes, I wanna say it was, three weeks before it released. Um, 
<laughs> right, Shannon? Yeah, it's not happening. It's not happening. That book's gonna get here, and I'm gonna go live, and I'll be like, oh my god, look, and we're gonna call it like five pages in like 45 minutes. No, not really. <laughs> right, Shannon? Um, but uh, Magical Jungle, I remember, showed up um, a month a month before the book came out. And I think that's the earliest that I've ever gotten it. And oh my gosh, I colored so many pages in that book. I want to say that was the first one that I got that was early. Um, like I said, I'm using Scarlet now. Um, that was the first one that I got that I got early. And oh my gosh, I colored so much. Like it was ridiculous. It's always so painful, though, because when the bloggers boxes do come out, and like I said, I never assume that I'm going to get one. I hope against all hope, you know, and fingers crossed. Um, but it's so hard because all the UK uh, YouTubers and bloggers get theirs first because they're closer. And I'm just like, so I'll see them getting theirs. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> uh, yeah, Joanna, that will be like the day that a Johanna, a new Johanna book arrives at my house is the equivalent to like a flipping holiday man like we will celebrate celebrate good times come on oh definitely boots definitely but yeah normally like when i when we get the sneak peeks like we've been seeing you know the the unicorn and the cakes and stuff like i kind of have in my mind the first page that i want to color but then because the other they usually get theirs first i also kind of see what everybody else is coloring and i try to choose a page that hasn't been colored yet to give kind of people you know idea of what it looks like i <laughs> stroke it and pat it and call it george well, but she hasn't even mentioned yet, Kim, if she is doing bloggers boxes. So, you know, it's tough to say if they will actually, you know, go out only because, you know, maybe maybe it'll take too long for the books to arrive from the U.S. So there's a lot of factors that go into it. Like I said, I can hope against hope, but I never assume. I never assume. But... Either way, I've already pre-ordered her book, so even if that doesn't happen, I will be getting my book the same time as everybody else, uh, March 31st, and we will be coloring. Yeah, so if you don't like Johanna, you probably want to steer clear of my, um, of my channel for the month of April. <laughs> oh, Cheryl, all right, have a great night. Thanks for being here. The ones that Johanna sends as gifts might not be before the release due to COVID since she's coloring her book before it is out. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I can I can hope and pray and dream, but, you know, only time will tell. We'll just have to wait and see and be patient. And in the meantime, I will hang out in her live streams and soak up whatever little tidbits I can get because I am so excited. That is true. That is true. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit more red. All right, now we're going to take the white again. Well, I guess the white's going to make it more pink. No, yeah, we're going to do white. We'll end up with a more of a pink mushroom. It's okay. There we go. Plus, it was totally fun, like, when the, um, How to Draw Ivy and the Inky Butterfly came out, it was fun because we were able to do a live stream together where you guys all got to kind of experience the book because we did a draw along, you know? That was super fun. Well, and to be perfectly honest, I think one of the reasons that I like her book so much is because it's very similar to my style, you know? It's just... Simplistic isn't the word, but I've never been one for hyper-realistic, and um, hers is not that way, and so I think that's probably one of the reasons that I click so well with it. I have not, Boots, no. Good night, Deborah. Thanks for being here. Sometimes the waxy stuff kind of sticks. There you go. 
All right, so let's see. I want to add a little bit of violet just here. This needs to be a little bit darker. There we go. Is it a wax or oil-based uh, boots? Okay, let's, uh, what time is it? Oh my gosh, it's 10.34. See, you guys get me talking about Johanna and I completely lose track of time. I love Johanna because she draws real animals in a fantasy way. I love how Johanna draws things. Yes, as do I. As do I. Guys, I didn't even realize that it was 1034. You guys got me talking. That is a great way to keep me from ending stream is you get me talking about Johanna and I'm just totally lost. Yes, uh, coloring down under. I am using Pablo's today. I am using Pablo's. Seriously, I totally lost track of time. Is that blurry? No, that's a focus. All right. Okay, so here is the deal. Before we stream next, I am going to finish these wings here because they are going to be colored in the same way you went drawing his wax base. Okay, cool. Um, Groupie. Yeah, I totally am, Joanna. I totally am. Um, I'm going to be coloring these two the exact same way color style that I colored this one. So um, I will finish these up. And then next stream, we'll have the stock, we'll have the dots, we'll, we'll still have lots to do. So I suspect that maybe two more streams, depending on how much I talk. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe two more streams is practical, especially if I do the rest of these wings um, off stream. You know, one stream to maybe do this, and then the next stream to maybe do like the butterfly and the background. So, yeah, thanks everyone. All right, well, with that, I'm gonna leave. Evelyn, thank you again for this. I love it, it's so much fun. It's so pretty, and this one too, and rainbowy. And the Posca brushes, Evelyn, you are too good to me. Seriously, you're amazing. Thank you, and all of you are amazing for hanging out here, talking with me, keeping me company so I can chat and fangirl about Johanna. As much as I say I'm not a fangirl, I totally am. I cannot wait to get this finished. I think this is gonna look really cool when it's all done. Um. Yeah. All right. I'm going to head out, folks. Thank you so much for being here. We will be live again on Friday night. OK, 830 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Um, yeah. Join Facebook. Follow Instagram. Join the Discord. Hit the like button. Subscribe. All that jazz. You know all of it. All right. So stay healthy. Stay safe. And I'll see you on Friday. All right. Bye.